Hello, we are back with another classroom setup vlog. Um, today is I think day six, which is a lie. It's actually day seven because I was in here all day yesterday for like seven hours and I didn't have my camera, which honestly was probably a good thing because I was able to just put my head down and get a lot done. So I'm going to start this one by showing you everything that I accomplished yesterday. Okay, so let me show you what I did. So the first thing that I did, um, my birthday's board. So I created all these on just PowerPoint, printed them on colored cardstock, laminated and cut them. So what I do is I'll have like the month here, January, February, March, April, and then um, the kid's name with the date during that month that they were born. This is super easy. I used it something similar last year and it's just a really quick way to reference and it doesn't take up too much wall space. I put my multiplication muscles title up here. All the kids is all the kids pictures are going to go here. So that's where that's going to be. Let's see what else I did. Oh. The new third grade teacher came and picked up all these books, so my floor space is getting um more clear. My goal today is to have everything off the floor, which I'm sure will not be that hard. Um what else did I do? So I had um these from last year. These are the IB attitudes, so I created that um, title. I started sectioning off this whiteboard. So this is where my schedule is going to live here. I cut out the schedule cards um, yesterday, so I'm going to put those up as well. Uh, this is where my learning targets are going to go. I just wrote that so I could space it out. I um, think I'm going to um, create some stuff for this today. I put up these posters. These are levels of understanding that I got off TPT from Miss Fifth. They're awesome. I just printed them in black and white and then I backed them on my blue and green because you know me. <laughs> so levels zero through uh, four, which I really like. I'm going to um, try and be better at this this year. I hung up my IB key concepts. This is just an IB thing. Um, I just created these on PowerPoint. And then this pocket chart is going to be for um, our IB unit. Uh, I'll explain that, I'm sure, later in the year. This is our IB learner profiles. So I have a title that I'm going to hang today. And then I created my wonder wall again, another IB um, thing that we need to have. So I just used that same white paper. I used a green border and then an, I went over it with a teal chevron border. And then you've already seen these from another vlog. So I just hung those. So I got a lot done yesterday. I was here for literally six hours. <laughs> it's really insane to me how you could be here for that long and like, just listening to what I said, it doesn't seem like that much, but it really was a lot. I also got my class list yesterday. That's why I was able to do the birthdays. Um, it changed a little bit and now I have my final class list. So I'm gonna tweak some of the birthdays and I'm glad they tweaked it because now it's more even um, as far as behaviors and boys, girls go. So that's exciting. So today I have some things that I'm going to do. First things first, I'm going to number my mailboxes and I'm going to do that using binder clips. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like when I get to it. I made labels for my books. In fact, here's one right here. Um, it just says the IB unit, so sharing the planet books. And I tried to use double-sided sticky tape and it didn't work, so I'm gonna hot glue these. I brought my gun today. My gun, I brought my hot glue gun, Jesus. Um, so I'm gonna attach those. Speaking of hot glue, I'm going to hot glue the clothespins on my wow work board. I want to go through all these books today so this is clear. Like I said, my goal is to have the floor completely cleared. I can start putting chairs where the desks are because I have exactly 26 kids and 26 desks. And then I am going to um, figure out how I want to do my focus wall. I think that's where I'm going to do it. I think it's just going to say focus. And then I'll hang anchor charts there um, as well as vocabulary and things for that unit. I'm going to hang my schedule cards and we'll see what other kind of shenanigans I can get into today. Okay, so this is how it turned out, and you guys, I am so excited. So last year, I just like printed off the kids' names and taped them here, and the labels just got all over the place. So this is super easy. I just got these blue um, binder clips from Amazon, and I literally just wrote the number in Sharpie, and then I whoop, clipped the binder clip, flipped it in, pushed the slot in, and this is going to be so much easier Probably one of the things I'm most excited about. How sad is that? <laughs> so I got to log into my computer to start printing things and creating things. And my name change processed, so I got kicked out. I had to drive to the district office and I had to reboot. So it's literally 12.15 and I've done nothing but put clips on a stupid mailbox. So 
there goes a little bit of my day, but whatever it is what it is, I think what I'm going to do next before I start any other like decorating things is put the chairs at my desk and clear off the floor. Um, actually, I lied. I think I'm going to go through the library books and organize those first, and um, then I'm going to clean up. Okay, so all the books are put away. I do need to go through all these bins and just make sure things are sorted um, the way I want them to. I do sort by genre. Um, I don't like to limit kids to their level. I mean, I have the levels on them so they can reference it, but um, I just prefer to organize this way. I do need to make a new label for that uh, picture book bin. Those are where I keep all my picture books for the kids. And then I put the other books. So these were basically all the books that I didn't want. Um, I gave all the ones that were here to the new teacher. So these I'm just gonna put in the hallway and put like fair game on it and they'll be gone um, before the school year starts. And then over here, I just kept um, chapter books that I either use as read alouds or um, I didn't wanna give away in here. And these are all my picture books for like holidays. So like this is a great one for September 11th. Um, Christmas books, St. Patrick's Day. Um, so that's how I'm gonna just store those for now. And then I'm just gonna put them uh, in here. All right, so now I'm just gonna work on like getting all this decoration junk off the floor and I'm gonna start putting chairs at desk so it clears up the front of the room and I'm just gonna kind of putz around until, um, sorry, someone knocked on my door. I don't remember what I was saying, but I'm gonna put you down and clean. Alright, so all the chairs are gone, so it's starting to actually look like a real classroom. It's so crazy. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with those uh, crate seats. They honestly got so dirty, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, these are my stools that go around my um, kidney table. I'm just going to leave those stacked for now. So I cut out, I got some new kids, so I'm going to cut out these and add them to my birthday wall. And then I'm going to start hot gluing my labels to the bins as well as the uh, clothes pins over there. I have three kids born on September 6th this year. That's crazy. And on the wall it says 666. Sketch. Okay, I do want to show you what I'm um, doing right now. So these are my um, schedule cards that are going to go over, where is it? In my schedule. Uh, over there. Um, so I just want to show you what I do. So all I do is I get magnetic tape, and you can get it at Walmart. Looks like this. And I just put a strip on the back. And then that way I can just move around my schedule as my days shift and it's super easy. These schedule cards are in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. I will link my store down below. Um, I have the blue and green theme. Um, I also have black and white ones. So if you're interested, those will be there. Also, please ignore this mountain that's literally forming right before your eyes. All right, so I just went ahead and uh, made like a typical day in a uh, third grade schedule. So this is what they look like when they're all said and done. I really like the way that they turned out. I like that the font is clean and crisp and uh, crisp and easy to read. I will say though, these are bigger than the ones I did last year. So I recommend instead of doing like one strip across the back, maybe do like one on each side. And I'm probably gonna end up switching that too. But I just wanted to show you um, what that looked like. So if you do wanna go grab these, they are in my TPT store. I think they're like two or three bucks, super easy. And they're all editable, so you can change them to say whatever you want. All right, so I just went ahead and hot glued the labels on there, as well as the clothespins over here. And I did not film it because it's just hot glue. It's nothing fancy. So I'm just gonna work on getting all these tables, um, except for this one, cleared off. And actually I lied, I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna do some more label making. You know what I really need to do, which I'll probably do right now, is make my calendar. I just do washi tape and I create the squares for the dates and that's about the extent of my calendar. In third grade we don't spend a lot of time with the calendar so I think I'm gonna tackle that 
just to get it over with. You guys, so I did the whole thing and literally <laughs> that's to the end of my washi tape. Like that is just luck. Holy cow. So that's all I do. Um, I just used random things to uh, map it out and it literally took 10 minutes and I'll just put the month up there with the days of the week and boom, we're done. You guys, I'm going crazy. I don't know what happened to two, six, seven, and nine. Like what the heck? I will look for them, but this is how <laughs> it looks right now. All this is just um, printed, cut, laminated, and then I use that same magnetic tape that I do for um, my schedule because then that makes the calendar changing super easy and I just have a kid do it. So there you go. So I just went through all of my calendar cards and these are all like holidays and stuff. There's no numbers in here. This is the only number I have and that's the first day of school. So what the heck? I can't leave with that like that because it'll drive me insane. So luckily I know what font and size these are. So I will just whip some up really quick because uh-uh, that ain't gonna fly. All right, so I fixed that. That's all done. I am all over the place with this vlog and with today. I can't believe it's already three o'clock. I literally haven't done anything because I had to go to the district office. My husband and I put an offer down a house and it's not looking good. So there's been a lot of phone tag and just like a lot of distractions. Um, I did, I, I don't know when, once again, I don't know why I did this, but I was walking by and we have to have in our door like a, a sign that says who you are and what grades. So I have Mrs. Coates, a world and then third grade. Um, and then behind that, I'm going to put uh, more of that wood paper. So I'm gonna do that now. And I didn't really get anything done that I wanted to do today. <laughs> but I'm tired, I'm emotionally drained. So I'm gonna do that backing. I have to go home and film something for a YouTube project. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna sit on the couch and relax. Because tomorrow and Thursday, I'm getting glad trained. So. Um, I'm going to be busy all day. I'm not gonna be in here. So I'm gonna put you down I'm gonna back this door and see if there's anything else I can do before I get out of here, and then I'm done Okay, so this is what the outside of the door looks like Okay, I'm gonna go home. Um, I'm just emotionally exhausted on top of this house hunting um, my uncle breeds Australian Shepherds and We have my parents have two my brother has two and Chris and I want to get one as soon as we get a house well, he has a litter and they're ready and these puppies are, I mean, perfect. And the timing could either be amazing or horrible. So we decided if we get this offer or if we uh, get this house, which we put an offer in today, then we're gonna get one of these sweet babies and you guys. <laughs> but I don't wanna get my hopes up because someone submitted an offer higher than us. The only way we'd get it is if they liked our letter that we sent, so I don't know. I'm just tired and I'm stressed and I'm nervous, so I'm gonna go home. This was a fairly uneventful vlog, but um, I will be back in here on either Friday or over the weekend. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you join our little fam that we've created here on YouTube. Um, I will be vlogging throughout the entire school year so you can see how this classroom plays out. Um, so yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Early Adventures, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.